start with the closing of this building and to remember with thanksgiving the many ways in which God has blessed our ministry and our lives in this place. Let us lift our voices in praise and song to the one who alone will continue to care for and sustain us in this life and in the next. Give praise to the one who formed us and gathered us as the church in this place. Praise to God of Israel, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give praise to the one who has blessed us and given us years of ministry in this place. Praise to our God for all his blessings. Give thanks to God's holy name. God has caused his name to dwell in our midst. God has stirred our hearts and enriched us by his presence. For more than 100 years, God has nurtured and fed us in this place. For more than 100 years, God has shown us his love in this place. For more than 100 years, God has given himself in word and sacrament in this place. For more than 100 years, God has empowered us. Praise to the Lord for 144 years of ministry. Praise Him in all times and seasons. Praise the Lord for all our days. Praise Him forevermore. Let us bring before the Lord our prayers of thanksgiving for our life together as a congregation of Milltown Lutheran Church and for the blessings God has brought us through this holy place of worship. If you're one of the leaders, would you come and take your place by the, the thing where you're leading from? At the front of you, mighty God, almighty God, is here in this place. You gathered us as your church and filled our hearts with your love through our songs and our praises. You heard our confessions and forgave our sins. You lifted our sorrows and made us glad in our celebrations. We praise and thank you for your fellowship and your love. For our meetings and our dinners, for our ministry and our mission, and for all that you have been with us and with us in our life together. We praise and thank you, O Lord, for all these things. At the baptismal font, Almighty God, this font, you have received our children and our loved ones and made them one with your Son, Jesus Christ, and with us, the body of Christ. You have given them as you have given to us, your Holy Spirit, that faith, hope, wisdom, and love might abide in all your people. We praise and thank you for all the holy waters that have flown, flowed from this font and into each of us and into the world as a river of life that carries your love. We praise and thank you, O Lord, for all these things. Here at the pulpit, Almighty God, from the, this pulpit we have heard your powerful words. You have lived among us through the gospel and the biblical stories of your people of faith. Through your word of preaching, you have called us. Through your word of teaching, you have taught us. Through your word of law and grace, you have guided us on our way. And in your word made flesh, you gave us our Savior, Jesus Christ. We praise you and thank you for your powerful word that has been and will continue to be the light to our path and the guide to our lives. We praise and thank you, o Lord, for all these Almighty God, at this table, you have welcomed us to the banquet of our Lord and Savior and given us a foretaste of the feast to come. 
You have united us with him and with one another in a feast of love through the sharing of his body and blood. You have strengthened us for our mission and for our daily lives and sent us out to share Christ's love with all the world. We praise and thank you for the grace and favor you have shown us through the sacrament of the Lord's Supper and for the hope of sharing this feast with all the saints at the heavenly banquet. We praise and thank you, O Lord, for all these things. For all these things and for so many more, we give you our heartfelt thanks, Almighty God, and we ask that you bless us as we go from this place and from this fellowship. Yet in our parting, we declare our faith in you, our only creator and redeemer. And we seek your presence for our lives as we affirm that faith this day in the words that have been taught us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. To you be all honor and glory, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. 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 Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. I invite you to share signs of peace with one another. 